Hi everyone, welcome to another Verges Studio Tech Tip. Today I'm going to provide you with a quick overview of Verges Studio's viewer technology, Verges Studio Web. To begin, we're going to look at a sample application and highlight a few features of the technology. Afterwards, we'll jump into the designer interface to see how it was built. Okay, so let's have a look at the sample application. First, these applications can be designed in any way to fit the needs of your users. So both the design and the any components you would like to add to the application is in your full control. So in this example, on the left, we have a panel with tabs that you can add content to, such as a home tab, where you could include a logo or maybe a description of the app or even some instructions on how to use the app. One of the great features of Verge Studio Web is the ability to create multiple layouts in a single application. In this example, we have an option to switch to a mobile layout, making the interface more usable for mobile devices. Other layouts could include a dashboard view or an application with 2D and 3D maps side by side and synchronized, or even an app where the data is the focus and the map is secondary. You can also add tools to the map area itself, such as a 3D toggle to provide a different perspective of the map. There's an I want to menu where you can add tools as well as a toolbar where more tools could be added. What really sets Verges Studio Web apart is its integration with other capabilities, such as Verges Studio Workflow and Reporting. Let's click on the Workflow menu and check out an example of a Verges Studio Workflow that can query the data on the map and then generate a PDF report. With Workflow, you can create an experience that your end users can use to dynamically retrieve information or to just get their tasks done quickly and efficiently. In this workflow, we've created a tool to understand the demographics of a region here in the city of Victoria in Canada. We've selected a location and our demographic regions have now been found by using a drive time service buffer. Okay, so now we have our results. I can choose a single region or choose all three and our charts will update. Finally, let's create a report in Verges Studio reporting to save this information to a PDF. In our report, we have a feature map along with a chart as well as the demographic information for each region. Let's hop over to Verges Studio Web Designer to have a quick look at how this application was put together. I'll navigate to apps.vergesstudio.com, choose Verges Studio Web, and sign in with my ArcGIS Online identity. I can also connect Verges Studio with ArcGIS Enterprise as well. In the designer, since the application is stored as an item in my ArcGIS Online environment, I can find the application quickly and easily by simply performing a search for the apps that I own or that have been shared with me. Let's take a quick tour of some of the key features in the designer interface. I've got undo, redo options that are really handy when making changes to an application. I have a pinpoint search tool, which allows me to find specific components in my entire application quickly and easily. The component selector allows me to click on a component in my application and instantly bring up its configuration options. I can also pop out the live preview if I need more real estate when designing my application. Finally, I can configure that deployment strategy, which allows me to push my application through development phases. This means I can work in the development version of the app without worry and push it to production when I'm ready. At the top here is where the layouts are configured. As previously mentioned, I have a mobile layout in this application, and I can even choose the device type to see the different dimensions on different devices. On the right-hand side, I have my component list. This is where all the components in my applications are, are configured. It's also drag and drop. So for example, if I wanted a search component within the map area, I would simply drag and drop the component into the map component and it will appear in the map area of the application. If I want to delete it, I simply drag it to the bottom and remove it. Speaking of the map component, this is where you specify the web map and web scene of your application. All web map configurations will be referenced inside Verges Studio Web, including symbolization and pop-up settings, so there's no need to configure the map twice. Each layer in the web map has several options. For example, whether you can identify, search, or query on that layer. Finally, let's find out where that workflow that I ran earlier is found in my application. In my component list, I can see my toolbar with the tab called Workflow. Here is where I've added the workflow, and if I want to make any changes to it, I can open Verges Studio Workflow Designer right from this interface and make the required adjustments. If you're interested in learning more about Verges Studio Workflow and the rest of the Verges Studio suite, please visit vergesstudio.com. Thanks, everybody.